Hello, good morning, and happy Monday after daylight savings time. We're not okay. <laughs> we are not okay. The... Uh, I... Spit. Can, can we... I, I mean, I'm tired, right? I, my, my alarm did not go off this morning because um, I forgot to turn it on last night. So it's, it's seven, it's seven o'clock, 7.30 actually, and I gotta get to work. But I just wanna sleep some more, like for real. Oh, I rearranged my living room yesterday. So now the couch used to be there. Used to, and now it's over here. And I love it. It's so much better because I have access to the windows now instead of having to cl crawl on the couch to open the blinds. Yeah. I got a sweet nugget right here. Oh, there's Max. What are you doing, Maxie? You be a good kitty kitty? Yeah? Come on. Come on, Max. You gonna come see me? She, he's like, not with that big beast on you, I'm not. Hey, Maxie. Hi, buddy. Hey, buddy. He's being very brave considering Max or spins on my lap. <laughs> anyway, um, I gotta go get dressed and get upstairs and get to work. I need to make some breakfast, but I'm not hungry. So I'm probably just gonna have a protein drink. So, yeah. Hi, Max. Anyway, I will uh, keep you guys apprised of what I get eaten today, because fuck daylight savings time. Breakfast. Oh, where are we? So that is an egg, potato, and bacon. Taco. <laughs> the name of it. Mm -hmm. It's 10.06 and it feels like it's midnight. Like, hang on. That's better. Like, <laughs> I must have had like some of my sunscreen or something rubbed off onto the camera. I was foggy. Anyway, um, there was a fire last night and I'll put some pictures in. <sighs> it looked horrible. So I hope whoever, hopefully it wasn't a house. That's always so sad when a house burns, you know, it's just... I've had that happen next door to us before. And, you know, it's just, you lose everything, everything. And yes, you're gonna be fine, but as long as nobody gets hurt, you know? It's just so sad though. Anyway, I'll put those pictures in. Um, it's a quiet day so far. 
uh, it's 11 or it's 10 o'clock here, 11 o'clock East Coast time. And I've only had like 20 emails today. So, but I, I've gotten a contract today. So I'm on, I'm on track. I'm on track. Oh. oh, I don't know what I'm going to have for lunch. This is really, really, it's, we're going to be winging it today. Yeah. Also, my leggings are getting too big. I finally like, yeah, it's, yeah. Oh, on Fridays, I clean the downstairs and on Mondays, I clean my loft. So I've got to vacuum, dust, and carry all of these boxes downstairs. We did clean the garage on uh, Saturday. It's so nice to have a clean garage now, oh, my gosh. But um, I wanted to take all these boxes with us to the dump when we went. And unfortunately we had no room for them. So <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna get all those carried down into the garage today and hopefully we can get get him to the dump at, at some point this week. Also, I finally found, I don't think I ever told you. So when we first moved, you know, and I was like, you know, ready to start getting on my um, gym game again. And they, <laughs> I couldn't find my head, my, my box, my office box, this box, cat's desk. I couldn't find it. And it had my Beats headphones in them. These right here. Well, we found a box after I bought a new head, a new set of head uh, Beats. But I like my other Beats better because they completely cover the ear instead of sitting on top of the ear and they don't seem to hold sweat as much. It's just my experience, so. I need a frickin' nap. I am tired, my gosh. downstairs because it's it's there's it's full of stuff and I can't just drop it over the edge like I did the other boxes call me Axie. you know I use I try and use the little pet grabber hair grabber thing on the on the chase and it just doesn't work like the actual vacuum so no call me Axie. gotta get all that hair up you're a shedding kitty Mm -hmm. oh, he's so sweet um we rescued max from a shelter i don't think i've ever told that story on here um so layla my daughter that passed away okay she she wanted an orange cat like that was her one wish well thor our great, our old Great Dane, uh, who died the same year she died, died. Um, that that freaking dog, man. My my. Okay, let me back up. This is a long story. Story time. <laughs> so my mother died the end of February. My aunt, who was like my second mom, died in June, and then my mother in law died in August in one year. Within six months, I lost every uh, important woman in my life in six months. So I looked at Thor, because Thor was nine years old at that point in time, and Great Danes, they don't make it past 10. Like, they, they just do not make it past 10. Uh, 
I grabbed a hold of Sora's face and I was like, listen, buddy, I need you to give me at least two years. I need two years at least to heal from this before I lose you. Give me two years. <laughs> and he gave me two years. But uh, he died in September and Layla died earlier in the year in May. So, and I, I didn't proper, I was still in shock from Layla passing away. So when the one year anniversary for Thor passing away, we had to put him to sleep, he bloated, which was like, whoa, um, you know, 11 years old and he, and he bloats and he was, it was too far gone. We could, I mean, he's 11, like, we could have done surgery, but the percentage was like 80% chance that he wasn't going to make it through the surgery. So we're just like, just put him to sleep, put him out of his misery, the poor baby. Anyway, um, so Layla wanted a orange cat. And I kept telling her, I promise you, as soon as Thor dies, we will buy an orange cat. Well, I had to fulfill that promise. And so we got Max after she passed. Um, Thor, or not Thor, Olaf. Thor, <laughs> Thor would have killed Max. Like that's the difference between Max and Olaf. Olaf will chase Max, might rough him up a little bit, but he wouldn't kill him. Thor, on the other hand, would have killed him. Like, he hated cats. There was a cat that got in our backyard one, t one day, and it, Thor got it. He got it. And there was nothing I could do. It was too late. And I felt horrible. It was, it was I don't think it belonged to anybody. It was just like a cat that would be in, in our yard sometimes. Uh, but he got it. So... Max is uh, relatively safe here. Yeah, between Olaf. Casper, Cas Casper is interested in him, but um, is very wary of him. Olaf will chase him um, and then bark at him, but that's it. <laughs> Sven, if, if, if Max comes into a room, Spin gets to the opposite corner as far away. He is terrified of this cat. It's hilarious. Uh, Max swatted him once and that was it. Spin's like, I want nothing to do with that little demon. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's the story of how we got Max. And then uh, Elvis, our other cat that my son has uh, in North Carolina still, uh, he... He was uh, a stray. Our, one of our neighbors came home and they found this little kitten in their uh, garage. And they're like, hey, don't you have a cat? And we're like, yeah, why? You know, thinking Max got out or something. And they're like, well, I just found this little kitten and I'm highly allergic, can you come get it? And we're like, sure. And the moment I picked a little Elvis up, he was skin and bones, shivering. It was cold. It was the winter time. I got him inside, wrapped him up in a blanket that, and then wrapped it around me. And then like, just like, to, cause he was so cold. Uh, we put something out on our neighborhood page. Uh, people had found like three or four other kittens. So we were thinking they were just dumped, which is just, oh. But little Elvis, he's a little cat. Like, he's a quarter of the size of Max. Max is a big dude. I think he's part Maine Coon. I would, I would love at some point to get a Maine Coon. But that's in the future. First, I have to get a Corgi and a Frenchie before I get a Maine Coon. <laughs> anyway, uh, I am craving Jersey Mike's. I have been craving Jersey Mike's for two weeks now. Um, so my husband, bless his heart, has gone to Jersey Mike's for me to get me a sub. 
Uh, number seven, turkey and provolone with the red peppers relish. Oh, I haven't had a Jersey Mike sub in, since I left North Carolina. And, you know, we would eat Jersey Mike's at least once a week, maybe every, once every two weeks. So it's been a minute. I'm hungry for one. It's going to happen. So my whole house is clean. And, uh, I mean, there's dishes in the sink and stuff like that. But I love where I'm at work-wise right now because it's like I can take 45 minutes of an hour and do whatever I need to do around the house, go for a walk, whatever, come back and maybe have three emails to address and take care of. And then I got another 45 minutes to come back, three or four emails. Like, I'm really loving my work-life balance right now. And it's, I'm trying very hard to be protective of it. I don't ever want to get up to 120 closings per month again, because I was literally tied to my desk for 16 hours a day. It was horrific. I would cry, 2020, no, 2022. I would wake up in the mornings and before I sat down at my desk, I would cry. That's how burnt out I was. I was so beyond, I was beyond burnout. Whatever beyond burnout is, that was me because I was doing over a hundred closings per month for six years. I was done. I'm really, you know, I, I kick myself for not trusting, you know, when I let go of my big mega team, I, I, you know, when I had my freak out moment and went and got a job, it, I, I still get pissed at myself for not trusting my own ability as a business, business owner and transaction coordinator. But at the same point in time, I'm so glad that I went and worked for that firm for a year and three months because it allowed me to have income to, you know, pay the bills I need to pay, you know, blah, 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 blah. And it allowed me downtime, like decompression time. I did so much growing the year of 2022 and 2023, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. I, I'm not the same person I was. And that's kind of crazy. So... I can't wait to eat my sub. And I'm really sorry about my video from Friday. It's just like, in, and it doesn't, there's no outro, there's no nothing, but it was Friday night. Our friends came over, the baby was here. Like, you know, shit gets crazy. And uh, they have no desire to be in my YouTube videos, which I completely and totally respect. So there's just gonna be times probably more times than not, where I just chip, end. So it is what it is. Okay. I'm going to work until my sub gets here and then I'm going to eat. And then I'm going to go for a walk. Probably around three o'clock I'll go for a walk. No, two o'clock I'll go for a walk. If I'm not asleep. Since we have that tree, we have this tree sitting out front or sitting out back of our house, right? That's right by our living room windows. He is getting, um, we have squirrels and we have um, cardinals. So I kept, I, since we moved in and I saw my first squirrel, I was like, we need to get one of those picnic benches to feed the squirrels. <laughs> he found one at Walmart. And so he got it. Uh, and a bird feeder and bird feed and corn for the squirrels. So I'm turning into my mother, like very slowly turning into my mother. <laughs> Cause she loved the squirrels and the, and the, and the birds. It's yeah. Oh, so that'll be fun to watch. Oh God. My TMJ is getting really bad. Like. I don't know if you can hear that, my jaw crunching. 
but it is. It's it's uh, it's been bad the past week for some odd reason. I don't freaking know, but um, because I'm not like more stressed out. I'm not anything. I'm happy. <laughs> like, I'm so fucking happy. I don't know. My my husband mentioned like finding a like a TMJ chiropractor. And I'll try that first before I go the medical route and have the uh, it's not Botox. I can't do Botox because I my my body metabolizes Botox in a month. It's it's bad. Um because I've gotten like you know cosmetic Botox in my forehead before and like it was gone in a month. <laughs> so I was like, it, it's not worth it. Well, maybe it was like a month and a half, two months, but still, you know, $700 every two months, that's ridiculous. So I'm just gonna age age naturally. Um, but there's something else other than Botox that you can do for TMJ. Uh, you know, even with a mouth guard, that I sleep with at night, my jaw is still just, she's sore constantly. It's so frustrating. <sighs> so I'm still sitting here waiting for my food. I'm start, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. And uh, my house is clean. I do have laundry to fold. I could do, go do that. That's one thing I'm trying to do too during the day. And this is probably what's helped my weight loss is I'm trying to stay, I'm trying to stay more active throughout the day instead of just sitting at my desk, chilling. I, you know, I get up and I clean something. I get up and I do something. I get up and I'm moving more throughout the day. But I really think that's helped with my weight loss. So with like breaking the plateau and, you know, parking. I've started parking like at the end of the parking lots. I, you know, to walk further. Um, yeah. I could go to sleep and sleep all night and all day though. All, all the rest of the day today and all night. I'm so fucking tired. And I'll be like this for at least the first week after the time change. So, like it is most every time I have a Jersey Mike sub, I've got like half of a half left. And I'm stuffed. <laughs> Maybe I should clean the top shelf. There's really, it's just toilet paper. It's fine. Mm. So that is our turkey that's been brining for the past 12 hours. And then, my husband bought some pork belly, I think is what he bought. And that's here. And so he's gonna, he's gotta put it on a rack in the, I don't know. He's making homemade bacon, bacon though, so that's exciting. And I need to make my bean salad. Hmm. It is, uh, two minutes to six and uh, I am showered, skin cared, everything, just waiting for my uh, dinner to be done. I am tired. I have a headache from my jaw pain. I'm, I've, I've got to, I've got to get something figured out. TMJ is nothing to play with. Like it's so painful. Anyway, so we've got turkey, uh, a turkey breast on the, They sound, don't they sound vicious? They sound so vicious. Anyway, um, we have a turkey breast 
on the smoker right now. It's got about another 45 minutes left. Been spraying it with apple cider every 30 minutes since we put it on. It's gonna be so yummy. Um, dishes are done. Potatoes are on the uh, stove to boil, making mashed potatoes and uh, I think peas. Sounds like a good dinner to me. So. <laughs> Spin did his, or Casper did his thing again, where he, uh, I was in the bath soaking my back and neck and stuff and <laughs> He's sitting on the side of the bathtub and like I washed his face with my, my face wash and I rinsed his face. And then when I was putting my moisturizers and stuff on, he needed some, like he did his whole thing again. I, and I didn't have my phone, so I couldn't record it. So, but it's the cutest freaking thing ever. So yeah, no walk today either. I kind of feel bad because it was a beautiful day outside today. Must have been. Yeah. <laughs> this is the handsomest boy ever. Him, yeah, is. He's so handsome. His sister, so our besties that live here, um, they're, they got a lab from the same litter that Spin was from, and she came over Saturday. And Sven didn't really want to have anything to do with her, which I was kind of surprised. But whatever. Casper was more into her. And Casper's her half-brother because they share the same mom. So, <laughs> yeah. Anywho, um, I will show you my dinner. And then that's it, folks. <laughs> I'm tired. I forgot I was recording. I've already had one slice of turkey and I've had two things of broccoli. And I'm gonna dig into my mashed potatoes a little bit. Best damn turkey I've had ever. Delicious.